Hi, and welcome to the little apartment on the prairie. Uh, not too long ago, um, some people were asking me about what I buy at the grocery store and how I do my grocery shopping, how I save money and all that kind of stuff. And I said I should uh, do a video one day when I go shopping. So I did that today. I shop about once a month. I do a big shopping trip where I go to Lincoln, which is about an hour away from me. And this time I went to Walmart, I went through the, uh, the thing where you order the groceries online and then you pull up and they just bring them out to you, to your car. And if you've never done that before, let me tell you, it is so easy. It's so convenient. It takes a minute to find the groceries you want online, but then you can save it in your account. So the next time you order, if you get kind of the same things every week or every month, like a lot of people do, it'll be easier to find the items you want on their website and then you pick a time frame with an hour window so I told him I wanted to pick mine up between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. and they send you an email when it's almost your time to just let you know that your groceries are all ready when you get to the Walmart parking lot if you look for orange signs that tell you where the pickup area is you just pull up in front of one of the signs and it's got a phone number on it that you call and you tell them I'm here to get my groceries and give them your name and they bring them out to your car. You don't even have to get out of the car if you don't want to. They load them up in your trunk or your back seat. Um, if any of the items that you ordered aren't available, you can tell them that it's okay to substitute items or not. You'll see when I go over what I got at Walmart, I had ordered a small package of frozen raspberries. They didn't have it. They gave me a larger package of organic frozen raspberries instead, so I got a much better deal. But I got it for the same price as the non-organic smaller package. And I've got a link down below in the description. If you use that link, if you if it's your first time ordering groceries for pickup, you can save $10 on your order. And then you'll get a referral link that if you give it to other people, when other people use it, they can save $10 on their first order. But also every time somebody uses your link, you get to save $10 on an order. So it's kind of fun and easy, and it made my shopping trip a lot easier today. I'm so glad I did it. So like I said, I go to Lincoln about once a month, and then I pick up milk because I buy that from a local farm. So I'll pick that up. I got some about a week ago, and later this month I'll pick up some more milk. And I may pick up a couple other grocery items if I find out I need something. There are some things that I didn't buy. Sometimes I have to buy like cat food, but I've got plenty of that now. I didn't need any cleaning products or personal care products like, you know, laundry detergent, dishwashing soap, bath soap, shampoo, toothpaste, deodorant. I just had all that stuff. But also, like, I make my own laundry detergent, so what I've actually got, in addition to some made up, is supplies to make another batch if I need to. Uh, I don't buy much at the grocery store that's not food. Most of what I get is food. And so you'll see I went to a couple other stores besides Walmart. That's where I get the bulk of my groceries because they're so affordable. But you'll see that I picked up a few other things at a couple other places. And you'll see that there are some items I bought large quantities of, like I bought a five pound bag of shredded cheddar cheese. That probably seems like a really large amount of shredded cheese for one person, but it's way cheaper if I buy it in a five pound bag. So I just divide it up into like five separate one pound portions in Ziploc bags and freeze four of them. Cheese freezes really well. Shredded cheese freezes beautifully. Um, and I bought a lot of butter because it was on, um, available for a really good price. And that's what I do. I try to buy stuff at the cheapest amount. So sometimes I, I buy in bulk. And I try to buy things when they're on sale. And what I try to do if something's on sale is to buy enough of it that it will hopefully last me until the next time it's on sale. That doesn't work with some things like milk or fresh produce but it works very well with lots of things with things that you can freeze or you know things that 
are non-food items. Uh, you'll also notice I don't have any disposable paper products, no paper towels, no toilet paper, no Kleenex, no maxi pads or feminine hygiene items. Um, I don't use any of that in disposable paper products. I have alternatives that I use, and I'll do a video on that one day, but I have not bought any of that stuff in, gosh, over seven years. I, I don't buy any of that stuff. So the other thing you'll see in the description down below is a link to an app called Ibotta. And Ibotta is an app where you can get rebates on things that you purchase. And you just look at whatever retailer you want to go to, whether it's Walmart or Kroger or Target or Dollar General or whatever. And it tells you what offers they have. And it might be something for a generic item like 20 cents off a gallon of any brand of milk. Or it might be a specific thing like a dollar off a specific size and brand of dog treats. But if you get any of those items, then that rebates are offered for after you shop, you take a picture of your receipt and that's all you have to do. And when it adds up so that you've got $20 in your account, you can cash out and they send you 20 bucks or more, however much is in your account, but it has to be at least 20 to cash out. So it's really quick and easy to use. You can also shop on Amazon and with your Amazon orders, it's usually a percent back. They frequently have you get 3% back on pet products. If you like to buy craft supplies at Joanne Fabrics, they usually have a 15% back. It's awesome. And if there are any particular stores that you shop at, look for apps for that store because a lot of times they have discounts or digital coupons and things too. So I'll let you see what I bought and... At the end, I'll kind of give you an idea of how much I spent on all of it. And again, this is, I won't do any kind of a major grocery shopping again until the beginning of March. So here's everything I got from Walmart. I got three, three pounds of butter, and I thought I ordered four pounds, so I'm going to have to check my order and see if maybe there's a box of butter in the trunk of my car. I don't know. I'll look. I had ordered four bags of these frozen raspberries. I like them in yogurt, but I like them just as a snack too. Well, I ordered four bags, but I guess they only had three, so they substituted a larger bag of organic frozen raspberries. So that worked out to my advantage. I got two bags of these Morning Star um, Grillers Crumbles. They're like veggie burgers, only it's like ground beef. I'm going to make sloppy joes with them. I got... So there goes some yogurt. I got a package of rye bread because even though I bake my own sourdough bread, um, I've been in the mood for rye bread. I like cheese and tomato sandwiches on it or just cheese. So I got rye bread. So I got two things, a plain Greek yogurt. I need to use it for a starter for making homemade yogurt. I usually save some and I forgot last time. And then I got three of these Chobani flips. I just, I like the flavors. They have good, I don't know. It's kind of an indulgence. I didn't need it, but I liked it. I got a can of vegetarian baked beans because the other day I was thinking I wanted baked beans and cornbread for dinner. And I could make my own baked beans, but I just wanted them in a can. That would be easy. I got three packages of flour tortillas. I know that sounds like a lot. I'll put two in the freezer. Um... I got two packages of Swiss cheese. I love Swiss cheese on veggie burgers, which I have a lot of veggie burgers already in the freezer. And I like it on sandwiches. I got five pounds of shredded cheddar. Um, I use shredded cheddar cheese the most. And it's just easier to buy it in a big package. And then I break it down into about one pound uh, things in Ziploc bags. And I'll reuse the same Ziploc bag for cheese over and over again. And... So it's, you know, I'm using plastic, but I'm reusing it as much as possible. And it's just cheaper to buy it in the big package. And then I also got this stuff over here. I got sloppy joe sauce. Yeah, I can make my own from scratch, but it's, I wanted something I could just dump in a pot. I'll add some onions and tomatoes to it. I got some ranch dressing. Um, I'm going to make sweet potato fries with the sweet potatoes I got. And I like them dipped in ranch. I got two cans of 
baking spray because I was almost out of that. And then I got a bottle of olive oil. I really love this brand of olive oil. I use it like if I want to dip bread in it or if I want to saute certain veggies in it. If I just want oil for baking or something, I'll use a cheaper olive oil or I'll use sunflower oil. So in addition to all this stuff, I also got a 10-pound bag of chicken quarters, which I already put in the freezer, I mean in the fridge, because it had been out for a while by the time I got around to filming this. And I also got a 25-pound bag of flour, which I have yet to carry in from the trunk because I got exhausted carrying all this in. But I'll get it when I go out to see if my missing thing of butter is in the trunk. So then I went to this little gourmet grocery store where they have coffee that I like. And they have other things, too. There's other reasons I go there. But I got amaretto coffee, Victorian caramel, and chocolate raspberry. And they're whole coffee beans. I grind it. I also like the store because they have this produce deal, which is available from stores in Nebraska that wish to participate called Double Up Bucks, where if you use food stamps for every dollar you spend, you get a coupon for another dollar to spend on produce. So if I buy $10 worth of produce, I get coupons for another $10 worth of produce. And I wish more stars, whiskers get, I wish more stores did it. Um, Walmart doesn't do it. There aren't any big box stores around here that do it, but this little gourmet grocer does. So I got some raspberries, which I hardly ever buy, especially out of season, but they're like my favorite food in the whole world. I got a couple sweet potatoes. I got some of these little uh, sweet peppers. I got a couple limes. I like those in my water just to give it a little flavor. I got a bag of spinach, which I'll make salad out of, and Isaac will eat a little spinach too. And then I got the spinach miso crunch salad kit that sounded good. The other thing I like at this store is they sell marrow bones there, which Isaac likes, so I got him a bag of bones. And they also had turkey gizzards, so I got him turkey gizzards. And finally, I went to the Asian market where I get some of Isaac's food. And it's kind of hard to see, I think, but this is mackerel. It's whole fish. Whole eat like half a fish with a meal. This is pork tongue. I think there's two tongues in there. This is pork heart, and there's two hearts in there. And this one is pork snout. I was looking for pork feet, which he really likes, but they didn't have it, so he's going to have to deal with pork snout this time. <laughs> I also went to the thrift store to look for a glass baking dish. I wanted a square one, but they didn't have any. But they had this rectangle one for $3.95 that's not real big, so I figured it would work. You might remember a couple days ago when I was cleaning my kitchen, I had a square baking dish that was like a nonstick dish that was the nonstick stuff was peeling off. So I got that at the thrift store, and I got this... Uh, flannel shirt that looks huge right now, but I wanted it big. Um, it was $2.50, so that's all I got at the thrift store. And that concludes my shopping trip. So that was my shopping trip for the day, my big shopping trip for the month, actually. There's other things that I will buy um, like I got some vitamins that I ordered from Amazon, stuff like that, but that's that's the bulk of my groceries. That's what's going to feed me for the month, um, and it's going to feed Isaac for the month, along with some meat that I've already got here in the freezer. And the cat food I, I had already purchased, so I've got that. And it took me, like all morning, it's almost an hour drive to get to Lincoln, and then I was there for a couple hours driving from store to store, and then an hour to get home, so... That's kind of tiring by the time I get home and then I carry everything into the house and get everything put away. So I'm going to give you roughly the totals that I spent. I don't have the exact figures in front of me, but it was $76 in some sense, I believe, at Walmart. I got $10 off because it was my first time using the grocery pickup service, so I'm going to round that off to $75. I spent about $45 at the gourmet grocery where I got the produce and the coffee. and But I also got $16 in double up bucks coupons. I think I talked about that. They have a thing where if you buy produce, 
you get coupons for more produce if you buy it with your food stamps. So next time I go there, I can get $16 worth of produce with my coupons without paying anything. And then I spent $15 in some cents at the Asian market. So that all comes to like $135. And then I spent $6.50 at the thrift store. And this is pretty typical for me for my shopping for a month. Uh, some months I have more stuff to get Isaac. Some months I do have to get cat food or cat litter, things like that. But this is, this is pretty typical. And if you're interested, let me know. I can do this every month when I go shopping in the summer when I buy a lot of stuff at farmer's markets. I can show you that too. Uh, let me know if there are any apps that you like that save you money when you do grocery shopping or if you just have any tips for saving money. I'd love to hear it. Thanks and have a good evening.